So Jordan, 2-2 two, two and another hard fought draw. Yeah, most definitely. You're not one there. Um, probably one of, if not the uh, toughest test we've had against an opposition side. And, you know, they were very tactical, uh, knew their roles and responsibilities very well on the pitch, causes a lot of problems. And, you know, as a group, again, something we've had to face that we wouldn't normally. And, you know, credit to uh, United's 21s, who were, they were absolutely excellent today. And of course, it's 14 games and beaten. How impressed are you over that one? We are as a group because ultimately the last two games we've played, we've asked something different of our team, a different style to play. And um, we've asked a lot of new roles and responsibilities for the players that, you know, two games now we've had a draw at each fixture and it's something that we can take forward as a positive. It's not normally a style we play and, you know, ultimately they've, they've fought together as a group and, and made it really difficult for teams to break us down. And again, we'll take that forward into next week and hope we can have a, another successful performance. And then... On to Brighton, it was just a really good test, like a, almost a preparation game for Brighton, do you say? Yeah, it's perfect, and look, we've played two fixtures recently where we've used them to prepare for Brighton, and you know, if we'd have gone to this game again, we'd have probably approached it a little bit differently um, if we were preparing to play against this side, but in terms of what we're wanting to do with Brighton, again, an excellent preparation game, we're really happy with how the group performed. Jordan, how much of a pressure is it to say a lot of, a lot of the players on the, pub, on the pitch that they performed really, really well? Yeah, it's great for us. Um, you know, we rotate players, we've got a strong squad, we've got depth in our squad. We've got a great sense of togetherness and for those players to perform you know, at the level that they do every week has, has been exceptional and the reason why they've been so good throughout the whole season. Is that, unhealth, is that a healthy relationship to have with the players to say, you know, all of them performed really, really well and obviously you'll be picking the ones that you think can be bright next week? 100% look, it'll be a tough decision. It's, it's one where, you know, we have got training sessions and we've got to look at what we think would be the best way to play against Brighton and select those players accordingly and, you know, hope for the um, the win when, when next Sunday comes. Obviously, facing Manchester United side that were really well drilled today. Um, what kind of challenges do you think they pose and what, what will that um, teach you ahead of Brighton? I think when you look at the, the physicality of the players, they will be able to last you know, the whole 90 minutes and we know when we play against Brighton it'll be a physical game. Athletically they'll be um, you know, ahead of us in some, in some cases and we've got to be really smart about how we play the game. You know, tactically when you look at how United played, it felt like it's a very well drilled side, knew their roles and responsibilities and again, when we come against Brighton, we know how organised of a team they are. We know individual players they've got, they've got quality on the pitch and we're going to have to try and come up with solutions to overcome that in the game and, and give it our best shot to try and go through. Off the ball, you have to soak up a lot of pressure. Um, obviously, coming up against a Brighton side next week, who will probably be the same in the style. Um, is that what you're going to say to the players to make sure they stay in the game and just make sure they have that discipline? Yeah, we're going to look at the side we're up against. You know, they're in the Women's Super League for a reason. They're in the position they are for a reason. And, you know, like I said, plans, strategies, tactics will go across to the players and say, look, this is how we feel we can, you know, give them the best game that we can and give ourselves the best opportunity of having a chance to go through. We'll work on that continuously in the week and then we'll see how it, it goes in the game on Sunday. And finally, a word of Serena Fletcher. She was excellent today defensively and obviously she showed a lot of class when she was on the ball. Um, is, she, is she obviously on your, in, your, in, in your thoughts ahead of Brighton? I think when you look at across the team, every player's got an opportunity. We don't pick the team until what? Until training's finished at the end of next week. So, again, you are right. Serena had a solid performance alongside a lot of the other players on the pitch, if not all of them. And for us, it'll just be a case of reviewing the week, having a look at how we're going to go and beat Brighton at the weekend, and then put the best team out to see if we can progress through to the next round. Thank you for your time, Jordan.